Hi, my name's Michelle and I'm a mom of 13 amazing kids. Today I'm going to walk you through my wardrobe and what I've chosen for my 10 items. Thanks to the challenge by Jennifer L. Scott, who is the daily connoisseur and had a great idea about making March's challenge to be chic of a mom, downsizing your wardrobe. I've always had a downsized wardrobe ever since I went to Europe. I learned about shortening the clothing styles, but I need a little extra motivation and she was inspiring and I adapted it to what works good for me. So I hope you enjoy it. Watch and see. You know, I went to Europe about 10 years ago and I learned the importance of downsizing in clothes. I learned how important it was to have a pair of pants that could go with four or five shirts or a shirt that could go with a couple different styles. So, and then when you add this or that, a layering effect, which makes things go a little further. So it was kind of nice to be able to hear Fly Lady Cat talk about uh, Jennifer L. Scott, the Daily Connoisseur, so that I could hear her version of the 10 item wardrobe and that I could make it work for me. And I love that she challenged in March to get your 10 item wardrobe together. Although mine isn't exactly 10 items, it's real close. So cut me some slack since I just had a baby, right? <laughs> I don't know what's gonna work, so I'm working on it. But that's where I'm at. So it's been a lot of fun and I can't wait to show you. Wait and see. So for today, I just wanted to bring you into my closet so that you could take a look around at what I've got, what I've decided to narrow down in my 10 item wardrobe. It's a little bit bigger than a 10 item wardrobe and I have a lot more t-shirts than I will probably keep. But some of them it's gonna be, you know, if I try it and it's true, then I'll keep it and if not, I will cull it. So I'm just gonna show you what I've chosen, what I've why I'm keeping it a little bit, and then the order of my drawer so that you can see it can be very simplified. I've had big dressers, I've had big closets, and I really like having the downsized closet so that I don't go overboard. It's very helpful for me. Okay, so for my 10 item wardrobe, it's not exactly a 10 item wardrobe. These are all the sweaters and, um, you know, the hang lows. They're like the extra sweaters and things. I, I wore a lot of these when I was pregnant too but they're all different lengths of things to wear over my t-shirts and outfits as well as some nice sweaters i would consider this one of my 10 item wardrobe sweaters i have two sweaters for that and then i have some hoodies i have my sweater here and my off the shoulder sweater here i got from new york and company and i just love them i wore them on our vacation in new york um which is fun because they're from New York company. So this is my purple five, like in my five tops, I would count this as one of my main shirts. This green one with the gold bar here is one of my main shirts. This purple one with the snaps, is one of my main shirts. And then this green one I just bought, I haven't even taken the tags off. I love the lace edge that it has for one of my tops. And then I have just my, my dresses that I'm not even sure which ones will still fit me. I think they will all still work. I have my um, kimonos or whatever you call them, these oversized mumu type gowns that I just love. And then um, I noticed I have two more skirts up here because I know I like these. I've already tried them on. And then I have a bunch of t-shirts that may or may not remain in my wardrobe because um, if I can get them to look cute with what I have, then I will keep them. But if not, you will know because they won't have made the cut and you won't ever see them on my video. So, <laughs> but these are just fun shirts and probably there's a lot more here than they would say, but I don't know which ones I'm actually gonna wear for the spring to the summer wardrobe. So I'm just kind of working them in. I know I love that one. That Plaid. I know I love this purple one. I think this one will work. I know I love my flannels. My husband loves flannels, so I have a lot of those. And then I have this cute t-shirt that I love. And then just some black ones. And then this solid tunic that I wear with my camouflage leggings, which takes me to pants, um, which are in my drawer here. I have six pair of jeans, long jeans, summer solid and dark. There's another pair of solid and dark at the back and then these three more washed and ripped jeans. I have four pair of leggings. I'm not sure that I can keep wearing those, but I have these navy blue ones on that I showed you with my outfit today. And then these are my summer shorts, so they're not counted in my 
spring wardrobe, but they will be for the summertime. And I have these this pair of green ones in the back that are a little bit small for me, but I'm hoping I can get into those. You never know. <laughs> um, then I have my laundry basket. I used to have a white laundry basket, but I gave that to Millie because it's a smaller one. And then anything that was for fall is inside this tub, which is easy access for me. And on top is all the stuff that I probably will wear in the summer. They're more summer attire, summer colors. So the bottom half is the fall stuff and the top half is the summer. And then I have my sandals all down here. You'll see those as I go along. And I just have a few pair of heels because I'm really not big into buying a million pairs of shoes anymore. Um, in my drawers, I have my G's and my socks because I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So we wear garments. I have my um, panties, my brassieres, and some of my lingerie. My jammies and camisoles are in this drawer not organized as you can see and then my swimwear and workout gear is in my bottom drawer so it's fairly organized um my jewelry needs to be more orderly I don't really care I hang them on the wall I want some more of those things hung on the wall and I have more lingerie in this basket and that's it for clothes I don't have any other clothes um and then for bloopers I'll show you all my get rid of. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're inspired to downsize your clothing wardrobe and just find those things that look best on you so that you can always look your best, feel your best, and then you can be the best mom you can be because how you feel really reflects in the what you wear and how you treat yourself. And that helps you be a better mother and a better homemaker and a better wife and then makes you love your husband more and your family more and put more love in your cooking and it just works well for everyone. So it's worth it, do it. So with taking on the challenge from Jennifer L. Scott to just kind of minimize my wardrobe in a way that I have before, but to actually get more serious about it, I have decided that this will be one of the outfits that are real easy go-to outfits um, I'm not necessarily doing a 10 item wardrobe, but I have a very pared down simplified wardrobe. I have about five or six nice dress shirts, um, five pairs of jeans, as well as some t-shirts that kind of coordinate back and forth. This is one of my t-shirt blouses that I've chosen to keep. And what I did was I just did a brush out on my hair today. I curled it two days ago. It was really nice yesterday too. And then today is just kind of a brushed out. Uh, more straight look and I like it that way I don't have a lot of time to spend on my hair and makeup I did a five minute makeup routine real quick with my uh, go-to lip gloss from covergirl all day stay it, I only have to apply it maybe one more time during the day did simple eyeliner eyeshadow eyebrows and mascara did my famous <laughs> uh, lipstick blush and that was the end of that so now for my outfit, I just, like I said, I picked this tee, this shirt that I've had for a couple of years. I really like it. Um, it looks better on me now that I've lost a few pounds. It's just a basic t-shirt, but it's a little bit dressed up with the lace on the side, which I'm really loving, which I tied my curls in with that and the pearls on my arm. And then I have a little earring that has um, little pearls at the bottom, so I thought that tied together nicely. And then for my bottom, it's just leggings. They're just navy. I was able to wear them even when I was pregnant. I just pushed them down further. But I like them because they're comfy. They're nice. They, they look good. It's a very simple outfit. No nonsense. And that's the way I like it. Got rid of. I can show you what I have to get rid of because it doesn't work anymore. I called it a blooper, but it's not really a blooper. It's more like time to ditch it. It's got to go. That's all. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some of my tried and true favorites that no longer fit that I have to ditch because they do not work for me anymore, especially the maternity clothes. Like this is a shirt I loved and wore all the time before I lost weight and now it is much too big for me and I have to get rid of it. I have some cute maternity dresses that were given to me I never got to wear. This shirt I love, but it is way too big for me. You can even tell just sitting here it's too big. It was a favorite of mine. I can't wear that anymore. You've probably seen it in a video or two. This one's way old enough that I can get rid of it and be okay with it. Even though I love this shirt, it's too big. Go figure. These pants, I was so excited to get into them after I had a baby. I was so excited because I knew they would fit and now they're way too big. So I have to get rid of them because they say size 12 on them, but they're more like a 10 and I'm wearing a six. So that's not gonna work. 
Same with these pants. I was excited to finally get to wear those, but they're too big. These favored Victoria Vanderbilt, whatever, Gloria Vanderbilt, got rid of those. These were my Sears get all jeans. I have a couple of these and I just loved them, but Sears is closing down, so I won't ever be able to replace those. These are some great um, pocket jeans that I just loved. I hate to get rid of these, but they don't fit me at all anymore. They fall off my hips and that's not gonna work. Same with these, I love these pockets. They don't work for me. This pair of jeans, too small, doesn't work for me. Anyways, then I love this dress. I didn't get enough wear out of it. It was my favorite. By all means, I could wear it with my copper sweater or my, I could wear it with this copper sweater, this long one, or this little bit shorter um, cream, what do they call that, popcorn sweater. And I just really loved it with this dress, but it doesn't fit me anymore. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Lots of panties. They're just larges and extra larges, which I don't fit anymore. Another pair of shorts, done. More panties, there's gonna be a lot of panties in here because they just aren't working for me. I spent a lot of money on them too. Got some cute Victoria's Secret panties and Fredericks of Hollywood and all this stuff and it's just not my size. And then these jeans, I love these maroon jeans. I wore them so often, but they don't fit anymore. So I had to get rid of them. This dress is the dress I wore at my daughter's wedding. It looked fabulous on me and now it drowns me. So it's really sad because it's such a great print. And I can't nurse in it anyways, but it's way too big. This is one I got online, just a cute maternity top. Can't wear that, it's too big. This one I used to love. I wore it a lot and now it drowns me and it looks so frumpy on me. It's like way bigger than I am. Your maternity blouses, the ones I got from Old Navy or the ones I got online. I loved my Old Navy maternity blouses. They were favorites, but they aren't working anymore. And this one, oh, I never got a picture of it. Such a cute little number. This little um, olive dress, you tie a knot in the bottom and wear it with boots and a sweater. So cute, but I forgot to take a picture, sorry. The, they're too big and this one too this is like that green one and i loved it too big for me and then purple a maroon top a white one from old navy a purple top um a top i never got to try on and the floral top that i wore quite a few times and i think that's it for my fashion show of ditches. These are the things that did not make it. They're all canceled out. No longer part of my wardrobe. Now I just gotta find a big old bag to stuff them in. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. It was good to be here with you. I hope you enjoyed this and that you've learned a thing or two and that you're willing to cull some of your clothes in your wardrobe. I know it seems really difficult, but it's not as difficult as it seems. Don't keep things that drag you down. Don't keep things that don't look good. And if they're ripped and nasty, get rid of them. You deserve something new. And even if you only have a half a dozen really good tops and you wear those over and over, there's nothing wrong with looking great. Some of the most brilliant people in the world wear the same thing every day. Okay, maybe they have five shirts of the same thing, but you get the idea, right? Talk to you soon. Bye.